Hey, what's going on with it? Listen, Flacco, Flacco's been on a run. So is Lefty Gunplay. So we're going to cross the two together. We got Lefty Gunplay speaking on some racial issues, L.A. tension type shit, black people, Mexican shit. And Flacco gives his opinion on it. A lot of people give their opinion on it. We're going to take a look at it through the view of Flacco, uh, see exactly what Lefty Gunplay was talking about, what Flacco had to say about it. We're going to give our opinion on all of that. Let's go. Remember, I found we are something not new to whine about LA today and apparently all. is a statement made. Nobody. By a Mexican rapper on a podcast. The rapper in question is Lefty Gunplay. Now, while on the Happy News Network, he read out a fan question regarding race relations in California. Can you hold me right there? Right there? Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Why are people asking Lefty Gunplay about, question, uh, about, about race relations in California? This question was very hard. <laughs> you got to remember who you're talking what to sometimes. What is the difference between <clears throat> racial grim, racial within right here and out there man la dog if you know you know and if you don't you don't la's racist nah san francisco different way different the question within itself is silly like who goes around measuring the racist barometer right so i can't tell you who a lot of people because i don't concern myself with I'll trying to figure those things out however he believed that la was more racist and he explained why now it's his explanation it has people in a frenzy and ready to cancel him. No, I don't Let's mind. see what his explanation is. Now, I hope, I hope that there's some reasoning for people to be so mad at Lefty here. Lefty, just because I feel like people take his disposition and his his demeanor, and and use that to kind of discredit him and amplify. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, just to discredit him, to amplify their opinion of him. You know what I mean? Just because it's so easy to look at him with all the face tats and the slurring. Dude's just on drugs, and he's lived a different life than you. That doesn't mean he doesn't have knowledge or experiences that you could benefit from. That shit's stupid, bro. Yeah, what up? Fool, it's crazy, dog. Like, race is a big thing. Like, like honestly, me, myself, personally, I'm not going to come home, and, and or I'm not going to let my daughter come home with a black dude. I'm going to be like, what the f***? You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it is out here it, for, for, for my people. And, like, I'm sure if a black girl came home and with a straight essay dude, they're going to be like, what the f***? You know what I'm saying? In L.A., it, it's like that. Lefty Gunplay grew up in L.A. He's a part of a gang, and he has spent a large percentage of his life in prison. LA I don't know how old he is, but I don't feel like that's really possible for him to have spent most of his life in prison. You know what I mean? Because to go to prison, let's well... I don't, I don't think they'll send you to prison, let's say, under, like, 16, maybe 14, depending on if you did some shit. You may go to, like, jail, et cetera, and then get transferred to prison. But the dude looks like he's in his, like, mid-20s, maybe maybe 30 years old. Type. Most of his life would be over 10 to 15 years, guys. There's no way. Unless he just got out of prison and he's been in there since, you know what I mean? Like, come on. Let's watch what we say because you're hyping them up. literal segregation. Blacks here, Mexicans yeah, that's what here, does. I ain't gonna lie. That's and what there's no does. crossing or mingling. So lefty gunplay has literally been programmed to think this way. But the fact that black folks are now trying to act like because he has this train of thought that this means he's like a raging racist and he dislikes black folks is just silly because black folks are trying to act like like this train of thought is a foreign concept to them. Black folks will make you believe with a straight face that if their sister brought home a lefty gunplay, they're not going to be like, hey, yo, what are you doing? I don't think the issue would be that they brought home a lefty gunplay in the essence that he's a Mexican. There's definitely that form of racism among the black community. One thing that I will say about uh, our forms of racism and or the lack thereof, depending on how your opinion on it can be, is that we really we have like retaliatory racism. Right. I don't really think it's racism, like because it's not based truthfully in race and or it's not really a true feeling against the whole race outright it, it's more so usually based off the fact that how we've been treated by said race and how that race is racist against us i mean if your whole race right if you guys have a whole race let's take white people and or hispanics for two 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 large ethnic groups or races that either outwardly and or behind closed doors do not like black people. Now, there's a lot of Hispanics that don't like blacks outwardly, but there's also a lot that don't like us secretly. You know what I mean? And that shit is a lot to have to maneuver through when every day is a fucking minefield of dealing with people that possibly don't like you and you got to really, you know, ex maneuver and examine all this shit and fucking play lie detector games all day with, with people to see what their true intentions are. You, you start to just develop a, well, fuck it. If they are going to be racist to me, I'm just going to be racist to them. They don't fuck with me. We just won't fuck with them type of attitude. 
and I, I, I mean, you can see it melt away so quickly because there's always a white homie in the hood. Niggas really don't give a fuck. Like, I don't really know too many, like, truthfully racist black people. It's really more so just pure ignorance. And I'm only going to give black people the, 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 the card of, yo, they're just truthfully ignorant because they've been completely displaced and, like, that we, we've been completely displaced and, like, granted nothing but misfortune in this, uh, in this place. So, Give us a little bit of breathing room here. You know what I mean? This isn't a situation that we chose to come to like every other race. You guys literally chose to come here and prepared yourselves prior to coming here. We were dropped here, lost all forms of culture, identity, all different types of shit. But let me not go too far off the point here. Get back to what Flacco was talking about. <laughs> like, like, this is what you're doing? At some point, bro, we have to reject this urge to be a victim. Now, I understand, bro, like being outraged at something and having a common enemy for the week it's enticing, bro. But at some point, bro, we have to put honesty before the fake outrage, bro. Like, nobody is listening it's to what Lefty Gunplay says, applying it to their own lives and YouTube thinking, oh, my God, he's allows racist, bro. cigarettes. If Lefty Gunplay is a racist, then what do you call Dr. Umar Johnson? And I'm in a weird state. If Lefty Gunplay is a racist, weed, then what do you call black, that also all, like, all of black Twitter, like, who go off on every athlete who gets caught with a white woman? Like, what do you call them? Are they raging racists who deserve to be canceled and not have a career anymore, bro? Like, we got to stop this, bro. You know what I'm saying? For me to go and have a baby with a black girl, and, you know, you know, and I've never been with a black girl, but I... I think we found out where a lot of this is stemming from right now. Uh, I'm just saying, you should get some shit. Oh. Murdered with black girls, and shout out to the black girls, some beautiful black girls, but it's different. And just L.A. makes you like that, and you can't sugarcoat it and beat around the bush. I don't say the N-word in none of my songs. You will never find a Lefty Gunplay song where I'm saying the N-word. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Munchie B and Mariah and them in their podcast, man, on Street TV. I was watching it earlier, four hours ago. They're like, man, we appreciate Lefty not saying the N-word. Does it slip out sometimes with the homies? Yeah, because the homies talk like that all day. <laughs> in the I can't she crashed the, the last the reaction, so even she's if back. it's scarce. I don't mm. like it. I don't like when Hispanics say she... it, Chinese say sorry, it, bro. white say it. I'm... I just don't like it, bro. Right, even some blacks give me it's an right. icky feeling when they say it, bro. But still, it's all right. I can't tolerate it, right? And I don't think there's any excuse for it. Back with but me, at we'll least see. We'll see what he has about. enough decency not to put it in the music. At least he have enough decency, bro, not to put the N word in his music, right? Not to have his Hispanic fans rapping it. Now, Lefty Gunplay will somewhat redeem himself by saying that he don't think that word should be used at all by anybody, you know. And he gets disgusted within himself when he says it. Now, he would explain it pretty perfectly and claim that that word has been used to marginalize and attack black folks, and he don't believe that the word has evolved to the point where everybody should be able to say it. But do I, is it, does it, uh, spit it out? Yeah, because I'm an essay, I'm a Mexican, I don't talk like that. It happens behind doors amongst ourselves, like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm speaking it into light, but lately I've been breaking the barrier, and I've been the only one that went on That's the That's what uh, Ace Boys um world shout out to pun and, and ad's community so those are two big black platforms in la and i want to go do those platforms that and that said. really helped me gain a black audience and the blacks f me and they respect me because i'm not using the n-word you know what i'm saying we shouldn't be using that word anyways period that word if you don't know what it means it's a the tar it's a negative words towards the target minority. i know right using that word you know what I'm the saying? Like that's, that's out. Hey, listen, man. If went to you listen to that and, and you think that that somebody man used is it racist, the then word. you have deeper seated issues to worry about, bro. And you shouldn't be worried about being online, being a. I think Flacco should look up what the word racist means. Matter of fact, I, I, I'm gonna look it up right now with you guys. Let's look it up. Racist. A person, uh, well, let's look at it in this case. In that form of an adjective, this is how we would be describing him as a racist. Characterized or showing prejudice. You'd have to look at the definition for prejudice here, and, and he is showing prejudice. Discrimination, also showing discrimination, or antagonism against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. This last part, right? An antagonism, I. I I don't know. I mean, I don't think you need to hit all parts for it to be that. It's because it's literally using or here, so it doesn't need to be all. It's literally any of them. A person who is against or antagonistic toward people on the basis of their membership into a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. Again, it is a he is a person who is prejudiced against 
right? And he doesn't need to be antagonistic because it says or. So, yeah, he's a racist. Uh, but, but that's just what the definition means. I mean, or what the definition reads, you know what I mean? He's defined Part as a racist. Mob is like, go ask Webster and Google. Like, the man is clearly not racist, like, at all. Go ask Webster and Google, not me. He is. Right, him having his dating preference or dating preference for his family members isn't any of our business, right? But it's I don't racist. Even think he should have shared it because truly is not our business, right? And so Flacco would black... rather him be racist behind closed doors. Ain't gonna lie, I don't fuck with that. Let me know you racist. You're supposed to act like your granddaddy and grandmama ain't tell you don't bring no white girl home, like, like to like like to act like black twitter and black people in general don't share the sentiment of yo we should date our own people and my cat acts right? like a dog you guys see her chewing on my like hand we don't she, shame a other black dog. men for dating my dog women. has made her now into you're a trying dog. to act like you know like what we do is better than this bro this man shared the exact same sentiment as the figures that we love like dr umar johnson and others now we have to remember that lefty gunplay just got out of jail like recently as this year so oh so he did get out of jail recently like like this year you know what I'm saying? but he said jail so he's programmed with the prison politics. Stop using those two interchangeably. Exactly They're not interchangeable. Prison, prison and jail are different. This mindset he currently has in terms of race relations. In L.A., you're not going to sell up with a black. You know what I'm saying? A black's not going to sell up with a Mexican. Shout out to the... So, bro, you, listen. He's institutionalized. Go look up what that word means and, and tell me if you need to be listening and taking your takes and opinions from somebody who's institutionalized. I'm not saying that he doesn't have any form of logic to his reasoning, he's using logic based off what he's known and experienced, but his experiences and his knowledge are from someone who is institutionalized. Therefore, we should not apply his logic. You know what I'm saying? Yerna. The blacks, because some of my most best friends have been blacks, but just the the way the LA County jail makes you, it makes you racist because you're just with your people. You either surround you. All right, that's it. Listen here, buddy. That's all I'm going to say. He literally just admitted it. He said, the way that county, L.A., L.A., county jail makes you, it makes you racist. It literally makes you racist. He said, it literally, it makes you racist. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing else to be discussed here. I was down here playing with my can. Playing with my, playing with my pussy underneath the table. Anyway, yo, listen. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think Lefty Gunplay is a racist? I mean, I read off the description of a racist, and everything he said kind of fits into that description. Look, literally nibbling on my finger. She's a fucking dog, yo. Literally a puppy. I always said if I got a cat, I would want it to act like a dog. But hey, listen, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you agree with Lefty Gunplay. Are you racist? Because he's racist, bro. And I, I don't think there's like, I'm not going to tech, I'm not going to say there's anything wrong with the racism. Because it, it, it's. Look at the the definition of it. Like, I'm not really, I can't, I don't, I can't care until you do something. So if you feel a way, that's cool. You can feel how you feel. It's all about how you act, how you treat people. And he seems to treat people decently enough. He's around blacks. He has some form of respect for them, but he also has some weird idealisms. He literally said that the, that LA County jail makes you racist. Come on, man. It is what it is. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section. Hey, just leave whatever opinion, man. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. I got more content coming for y'all soon. I'm working on a video right now. Me and Indica are out of here. Leaving my finger alone.